Awesome. Let's do this thing. So today's topic, not sure how to get a job with that experience. We're going to learn um, just how you can get hired in the UX industry a little bit faster, even if you don't have that work experience, right? The dreaded work experience that everybody's talking about. So today we're going to talk about um, the experience problem, how to get more experience, and some actionable next steps to improve your career prospects. So just a little bit of an introduction. My name is Ronald. I am the lead designer for Moment Studio. Um, so I am a Nielsen Norman Group certified designer. I have over six years of professional design experience, 10 years of business experience. I have shipped countless designs to pro design products to happy users, helped hundreds of people transition to UX design. I love to read, love to write, love to learn new languages. Um, I also love to eat, but hate to cook. Everybody dishes, just they're not my thing, they're not my thing. So let's go over the experience problem. And why is it so hard to get a job as a UX designer currently? So according to MarketWatch, over 240,000 people were laid off in 2023 alone. So Amazon led the charge with a headcount of 27,000 people who were laid off, followed by Meta, Accenture, and Google, with 1,183 companies letting go of people, almost up to 85% of their workforce. And this was due to quite a few different reasons. So one would be market conditions. Um, so when people returned to work in offices after the pandemic, the need for digital products decreased and therefore a lot of the funding for those initiatives were shifted. There were also price increases, right? So due to the pandemic, inflation spiked and prices raised on materials, right? And that includes labor, the, the labor of hiring people. There was also um, this, you know, really interesting phenomenon of industry maturity. And so there was this huge boom in the tech industry. And during that time, um, the industry began to level out after experiencing all of that growth. And so all of those different things sort of led to where we are now in the UX industry. And the tech industry itself grew very quickly. And really what we're experiencing is that it is correcting itself now. So according to the Securities and Exchange Commission, layoffs from these companies only represent about 8% of their new hires. So remember, Amazon led the charge with 27,000 people that they laid off, but in comparison, they hired 743,000 more people. And so overall, most tech companies hired thousands more people than they let go, um, and most of them retained about 20% of the workforce that they had. So that still begs the question, though, how can I get a job without experience if I can't get experience without a job, right? Um, so that's the chicken and the egg situation. And so we're going to dive into just a few ways that you can do that. So again, there are a couple of different ways that you can get some different experience, right? There are different paths that you can take. So one of those is volunteering. So you can offer your UX design services to nonprofit organizations or local community groups. Um, they often need assistance with websites, apps, or other digital experiences, and they are happy to have that help. Um, there are quite a few websites that are out there for UX designers who are offering their services. Um, so if you're interested in volunteering your time, um, then that is a, a great avenue for you to get some experience. Two, freelancing. So you can take on freelance projects to gain hands-on experience. Websites like Upwork and Freelancer can connect you to clients with seeking UX design services. So there are people who are looking for some one-off designers who will help them uh, with whatever experiences that they need to craft at the time. Maybe they're not trying to hire you on um, you know, full-time or part-time, but maybe they're looking for a specific project that you can help them with. So number three would be personal projects. So you can initiate your own projects to work on, identify problems or areas of improvement in existing apps and websites, and then you can redesign those. Um, so you can use other resources to upskill, uh, but basically you are creating this inception of a project. You are going through the entire UX process to make it a reality. You'll create your high fives, you'll create your prototypes to give it some life, and then you'll put that in your portfolio so you can showcase it. The last way and the way that we're going to be focusing on for this call um, are UX boot camps. Um, so you can join reputable UX design boot camps that offer hands-on experience and practical, uh, and practical experience as well. Um, so you look for these programs with a strong emphasis on real world applications because those are the ones that will have you go through testing, go through research, and really create these experiences that work um, in the real world. 
So before we continue, um, check out this QR code. Go ahead and scan that. Uh, we value your thoughts. Um, so you know, if you can take a moment to fill out the survey, um, you can unlock a two hundred and fifty dollar uh, discount code for our foundation's course. Uh, we appreciate all of the feedback um, as well. So let's get into how UX foundations can help you get a job as a UX designer. So for those of you who are watching and don't know, uh, I am the lead designer of MoMA Studio and therefore I'm part of the Avocademy culture. Um, so we have different programs that helps UX designers get the experience they need to get hired faster. And with our UX Foundations program, uh, there are quite a few benefits to someone who is just coming into the UX design market. So one, you get project experience. Um, so you get to work on a project that helps you understand how professional designers actually work. Um, the program itself, it works with all different types of schedules. We just recommend anywhere between 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, you guys would essentially be going through the process of creating this and any type of schedule works, right? So if you're full-time, uh, if you're full-time plus school, full-time plus school plus family, no matter the schedule, you can work within the pockets every day to create this project to help you get experience. Um, you also get hands-on mentor support in all of your projects and uh, help with crafting your resume. You don't have to have any experience for this. And so if you don't understand UX, don't really know what it is, and this is your first exposure to it, you are absolutely in the right place because with the UX Foundations course, we teach you everything that you need to be successful. You also get help crafting your portfolio to put your case study into it. Um, so we're going to help you build a portfolio that will help to get you hired. And you also get alumni support as well. So there are hundreds of students who have gone through this program who have had great success with it. And we want you to have access to them to ask your questions, to get that support that you need. And they are willing and available to help you go through your entire journey. So you're not going to be doing this alone. So there are different industries that you can work in after you have gone through this program. Um, so you can use whatever industry you're working in currently um, and transfer that to UX design. So for instance, uh, maybe you're a nurse or, you know, like a, like an RN or something, you work in healthcare field. Um, so maybe you um, work at, you know, the drive through at McDonald's, right? Maybe you work in food service. Um, you can take those industries that you work in and you can still be a UX designer in those same industries if that's what you like to do. Um, so I know plenty of people who um, actually 18% of the students from um, Avocademy are from the healthcare field and they transition from being a, a nurse or something similar into healthcare UX design. Um, and you can do this with any industry that you currently work in. Um, and so you can use that as a stepping stone, uh, as a point where you can talk about it in your interviews and say, hey, I have X years of experience um, in this field, even if I only have a year of experience in UX design by the end of this. Um, so for our students in particular, uh, the outcomes are, are very great, right? Um, so we have a 95% success rate of students who landed a job working with our team. Um, the time to job was about 122 days, and that might sound like a lot, but honestly, the time is going to pass anyway. Um, so, you know, four to five months is going to pass just like that, and you can, could be working on your skills to, you know, gain those valuable things you need in order to get a job, or you could continue to just go on and, and wait for opportunities to happen for you. Um, but with our program, I mean, you honestly have a diverse portfolio um, that we give you, you know, tips and tricks for you to craft this to stand out against other designers. Um, you'll understand uh, how to work in team dynamics in some of our courses. Um, and you also get expert guidance, right? Um, so unlike freelance designing or working on a personal project, you have someone there to guide you, to help you understand what it is that you should be doing and how you should craft your project in order to get hired. Uh, there are tons of success stories that we have um, available for you to see on our website, Um, But, you know, just a few on the screen, um, a lot of these people I know personally, before they signed up with Avocademy, they didn't understand the UX process or didn't understand how they can market themselves as a professional designer. And afterward, uh, they were able to do this not only um, in a way that was easy and affordable and, you know, gave them great success, they did it in a way that was the most efficient. Um, you learn from designers who are in the current market and you understand how to do the job and then you get hired. Um, it is very simple and a lot of people do it. And if you believe that you can do it, then you will. 
So as far as actionable steps goes, I never want to leave you guys without any uh, steps to take action. So one, you want to make a decision. You want to take everything that you've learned today, do your own research, come to your own conclusions, and then land on the fact that you deserve this opportunity. Two, you want to get educated. Find a trusted source to get your information from to learn how to design. And our program in particular um, provides structured learning for those people who finally want to make this career change. Number three, you build a portfolio. So from all the projects that you work on, create case studies and combine them in a portfolio that you showcase, that allows you to showcase your work to let the users know or to let everyone know that you are a UX designer. Um, so in our case, we help you to craft uh, from the beginning to the end what your portfolio is going to look like, how you can showcase the impact of your projects, how you can speak about your work in order for people to be interested enough to read it, um, and how to get hired from that. Which leads into the next one, you get hired. You go through the interview process with all of your favorite companies, you'll get hired with more flexibility, likely a hire your life forever. The choice is yours. Uh, so now I'm going to cut the recording so you guys can, um, you know, talk, uh, get, let's get a and a going. I'd love to answer all of your questions. For those of you who are watching this on the recording, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Um, check out the QR code on the screen, scan it, um, and schedule a call with a career advisor to figure out if this is right for you. Awesome. Thank you, my friends. Have a great day.